grace and peace to you. I wanted to take a few minutes to update you. Our congregation council met Tuesday night and revised our regathering guidelines in light of current conditions around coronavirus and new recommendations for public health and safety. We thought it was timely to look at when we can regather in person inside the sanctuary. We know this year has been difficult and long. So I'm pleased to say that we will resume indoor worship with one service at 1030 in the morning on Sunday, April 18th. Our service will be limited to 50 people. And we would ask that you please sign up online in advance. That online sign up helps us manage participants and provide a record of who is here if contact tracing needs is needed later. We will require medical masks and we will provide those if you don't have one. You can either wear it over whatever cloth mask you want to wear or you can remove your cloth mask and put on the medical mask while you are inside the building. Our ushers and tabulators won't start back right away. For now, we're going to have council members fill those roles. We will have distanced seating. So there may be a favorite pew that is not available. We ask you to sit with your household members and trust that you know who those people are. If you have been socializing with a group of people all along or recently and want to sit with them, that would be fine. But we ask that you sit six feet in each direction from other people and other households. We will not have congregation singing. And we know that continues to be something that we lament together. So our liturgy will largely be as it has been online and for drive-in services, mostly a spoken liturgy. We will not have the passing of the peace. We will not pass offering plates, although there will be an offering plate in the narthex and our online and mobile giving options continue. We will have Holy Communion using the prepackaged elements that we've been using for our drive-in services. We will ask you to pick those up before the service begins and consume them in the pew. If you are worshiping with us from home, we are going to continue to live stream the service on Facebook Live and on Zoom, and you are invited to participate in communion from home. As you think of questions, I encourage you to ask me or one of our congregation council members, and we are happy to have conversation. We are gonna see how this goes, and then each month, we will revisit our guidelines and recommendations and practices and adapt as needed. Thank you for your prayers throughout this year of pandemic, for your continued financial support of the ministry and mission of Ascension Lutheran, for your encouragement to each other. All of that has been gift. Thank you.